This video will be looking at issues around drugs and how to reduce drugs related deaths within the Bangladeshi community. We'll be looking at the sorts of drugs that are dominating the Bangladeshi community and where to get further information and advice. There's also a booklet included with this video which provides more information. Bangladeshis have been identified as socially and economically disadvantaged in comparison with other Asian communities. The 2001 census stated there are 3,500 Bangladeshis living in Sandwell. The largest concentration is in North Smethik, followed by West Bromwich, Tipton and Wensbury. The age profile for the Smethik Bangladeshi community is of a young community under the age of 24. The community is vulnerable to high unemployment levels, low pay, underachievement at school, language and cultural barriers restricting access to service provision, overcrowded housing conditions and poor health conditions. Research conducted by Smedic Bangladesh Youth Forum shows a growing drug misuse problem within the Bangladeshi community, with an increasing number experimenting in hard drugs. This video has been produced to raise awareness of drug misuse and reduce drug-related deaths within this community. There are lots of different types of drugs available in Britain. The drugs and substances available range from the relatively safe, for example caffeine and pan, to the more problematic, legally available including alcohol and cigarettes, and of course a wide range of illicit substances such as cannabis, amphetamines, ecstasy, cocaine and heroin. Not to mention the wide range of over-the-counter and prescription drugs with the potential for misuse. Why do some of the Bangladeshi young people take drugs? In a recent poll with focus groups, young people gave boredom, curiosity, fun and peer pressure as their main reasons for taking drugs. The problem is that many of these so-called signs are easy to confuse with what is often normal behaviour for young people in their teens. If someone is using drugs, they're going to hide it and unless you see them high on drugs or find drugs on them, you probably won't know. The important point is that even if we can recognise the signs and symptoms of drug use or know what different drugs look like, we're still left with the question of what we should do if we suspect that someone we know is using drugs. If you do think that your child is using drugs or you find something that worries you, there are some simple guidelines you can follow to try and get the most from a conversation. Remember, this conversation is never going to be easy. Talk when you're calm. It's entirely natural to blow your stack and feel angry and confused on finding out that your child may have been using drugs. However, this is unlikely to be fruitful in terms of opening a discussion. Try to take some time out first to calm down and consider what you're going to say. This should help the conversation not getting out of hand. Be informed. One of parents' greatest anxieties is that their children know more than them about drugs. Cannabis Cannabis is known on the streets by many names. Some of them include black, dope, ganja, hash, skunk and spliff. Cannabis is by far the most common illegal drug used by young people. It can look like chopped herbs, green, brown and yellow in colour. This is the leaf of the plant. Cannabis also sometimes comes as a resinous block looking a bit like an oxo cube, with a colour varying from greeny-brown to black. Cannabis has a very distinctive smell, which is difficult to describe, but easy to recognise once you've smelt it. If your child is smoking cannabis in your house, you will smell it, no matter how many windows they open or how much air freshener they use. Cannabis is usually smoked in a cigarette that's made with tobacco. It's called a joint or spliff or it can be smoked in a pipe either brought from a shop or homemade. It can also be eaten in cakes or drunk in tea. Bung is a drink that's been used in South Asia for centuries and is made by crushing dried cannabis leaves into milk. What are the risks? The effects may take a few minutes after smoking. Things all seem a bit strange and different, but the impact is fairly mild unless you're using a stronger variety such as skunk. The effects tend to be very dreamy, mellow and relaxing. Some people say it makes them giggle at silly things and talk a lot of nonsense. The effects usually last a couple of hours with one dose. 
The long-term risks of smoking cannabis are much the same as smoking cigarettes, with an increased risk of developing lung cancer and other smoking-related diseases. Heroin. Heroin is known on the streets by lots of other names. Some of them include brown, H or smack. Heroin is one of a group of drugs called opiates, which are derived from the opium poppy. Opium is the dried milk of the opium poppy. It contains morphine and codeine, both effective painkillers. Heroin is made from morphine and in its pure form is a white powder. For medical use, heroin usually comes as tablets or an injectable liquid. A number of synthetic opiates called opioids are also manufactured for medical use and have similar effects to heroin. These include pethidine, often used in childbirth, and methadone, a drug which is often prescribed as a substitute drug in the treatment of heroin addiction. Heroin can be smoked, called chasing the dragon, sniffed or prepared for injection. Opioids made for medical use usually come in tablet or injectable form and may be used for non-medical reasons, especially by heroin users who cannot get hold of heroin. Methadone is usually prescribed as a syrup which is drunk. What are the effects of taking heroin? Most people who take heroin at first feel warm, their skin itches and they throw up. Many say it takes a number of uses to appreciate its full effect. Heroin is a painkiller. It kills both physical and emotional pain. Regular users say it's a bit like being wrapped up in cotton wool. Your problems and the problems of the world seem to disappear and you have a sense of detachment and well-being. This is why heroin is often used by people who are unhappy or deeply troubled. Crack cocaine. Cocaine is known on the streets by many different names, like rock, snow, white and stones. Cocaine is made from the leaves of the coca shrub. In Britain, the most common form of cocaine is as a white crystalline powder. Most users sniff it, often through a roll banknote or straw, but it also sometimes is made into a solution and injected into the bloodstream. Crack is a smokable form of cocaine made into small lumps or rocks. It's usually smoked in a pipe, glass tube, plastic bottle or in foil. It gets its name from the cracking sound it makes when being burnt. It can also be prepared for injection. What are the effects of cocaine? Cocaine, like amphetamine and ecstasy, is a stimulant drug. Stimulant drugs make you more alert to everything around you. For instance, people and music become fascinating and interesting. They enhance good feelings about yourself and give you a feeling of confidence and increased energy. Physically, they stop you feeling hungry and they make your heart beat faster. The effect of amphetamines usually lasts for about three or four hours. Cocaine lasts for a much shorter time, about 20 to 30 minutes for a small dose, and the effect and high is more intense. The effects of crack are much more intense. The high is even greater, but shorter. What are the risks? Cocaine is a stimulant drug. It stimulates the central nervous system. As with all stimulant drugs, it raises body temperature, raises blood pressure, raises heart rate. So you have your heart pushing against a higher uh, blood pressure in your body. After using stimulant drugs, the user often feels exhausted as they come down from the high and try to recover. Often they can have difficulty sleeping, as one of the effects of a stimulant drug is to keep you awake. The first action you should take is to use your telephone and dial 999 and ask for an ambulance. Then you should do your primary assessment. You can also phone the National Drugs Helpline. The telephone number is 0800 77 66 00.